Hi, I'm Lawrence Cornfield with Building San Francisco. We're doing a special series called Stay Safe. We're going to talk about staying in your home after an earthquake and taking care of your pet's needs. Well, here we are at the Spur Urban Center in San Francisco on Mission Street, and we are in this little house that was built to show what it's like in San Francisco after an earthquake. We're very pleased to have with us today Kat Brown from the Department of Animal Care and Control and her friend Oreo. Hi, Oreo. Hi, Lawrence. <laughs> so can you tell us what it would take after an earthquake or some other emergency? When you're in your home, maybe no power or water for a little while, what it would take for you and Oreo to be comfortable and safe at home? Well, just as you would prepare for your own needs should an earthquake or a disaster uh, event occur, you need to prepare for your pet. And um, I brought with me today some of the things that I put in my disaster kit to prepare for my animals' needs to make sure that I'm ready should something happen and I need to shelter at home. What are some of the things that people should have in their home after an earthquake or other emergency to help take care of their pet and take care of them themselves? Well, I took the liberty of bringing you some examples of things that you might have. Hey, it includes a first aid kit uh, uh, for your pet, and it, you can also use it for yourself. Some extra meds for your cat, a water container that will not tip over. We've got both food, wet food and dry food um, for your pet, um, disposable uh, food container, water, and your vet records. A, in addition, we have a collar and some toys yeah, to keep needs, Oreo he needs, busy. He needs <laughs> toys. And this, I noticed, this is San Francisco being a real foodie city. Come on, Oreo. This is your dinner. It is Pate style tuna and chicken dinner <laughs> fits into Oreo. our foodie scene here. You know, what they say now is that you should have at least a gallon of water, and I think a, a gallon of water is a, is a small amount. I think maybe more like two gallons of water would be good for you and your pet. Does the City Animal Care and Control or any other agency provide uh, help with you and your pet after an uh, emergency? Actually, there is a coalition of uh, NGOs, uh, non-governmental organizations, led by the Department of Animal Care and Control to do disaster planning for pets. And um, that includes the San Francisco SPCA, the PAWS group, Vet SOS, uh, Pets Unlimited. Mm -hmm. uh, we all have gotten together, been getting together for over four or five years now to talk about how we can educate the public about being prepared for a, a disaster as it involves your pets. Lots of services. I understand that if you have to leave your home, we are encouraging people to take their pets with them. Is that right? Absolutely. We think that that is a lesson that we learned from Katrina, is that if you're being evacuated, you should take your pet with you. One reason I have this uh, carrier here is that you need to have a carrier that you can fit your pet in comfortably and you need to take your pet with you when you're evacuated, if you're evacuated. I want to thank you, thank you very much for joining us and bringing Oreo today. And uh, I want to thank you for joining us on Building San Francisco and stay safe.